What's up everybody and welcome back to the Cool Fears channel and this is part 2 of this week's toy hunt But before we get into it, if you're new then welcome, this channel is all about cool action figures Analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them and of course playing with them I upload new content constantly throughout the week so make sure you hit that bell icon so you stay notified when I do upload a new video And if you do enjoy this video or any of my other ones, please remember to give it a thumbs up, it really helps the channel grow And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button guys, it is a very small goal of mine to try to reach at least one new subscriber per new video that I put out So please be my one new subscriber for this video, thank you so much in advance as always, the information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. I'm your host, Just the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. And before we get into this toy hunt, guys, I just wanted to say that I am going forward with my weekly podcast, and we will be doing episode one this Saturday at 10 a.m. That's when it will be available, and we will be covering a lot of toy news since NECA just had their NECA con. So you're not going to want to miss out. I want to hear what you guys think as well, what ex figures you're excited for. Alright guys, so it is once again a new day. I ended up not going to any more targets yesterday. So today I decided I was going to hit up a few of the ones that I was going to hit yesterday. Uh, so here we are at the first one. Let's go see what they got. Hey Blue, you want to say hi to the people today? He's a little tired. Alright guys, so here we are at Target. And as you can see, the Star Wars shelves are empty. Um, as well as a lot of the pegs here, uh, they were just super, super bare and empty, especially the Jurassic World area, as you can see. The Hot Wheels area was a little more full, but not too full. Um, as you can see, there's a few empty pegs. Uh, I'm just taking a look to see uh, if I can find the Republic gunship because I told myself that uh, next time I see it, I did want to pick it up so I can add it to my little clone trooper display that I have next to my clone trooper helmet. So that's what I went ahead and did right there. And I did happen to find the new Snake Eyes in stores. Um, although I did decide to pass up on it, let me know down in the comments below if I messed up by passing up on it. Um, although as you'll see, I do come back to it because I start thinking, you know, maybe, maybe I can use it for toy photography. Um, but at the same time, I just didn't want to get uh, sucked into a new line. So as you can see right there, they had two Gorilla Grods, a Flash, not the Justice League Flash, unfortunately. Um, although I already do have it, but for any, you know, collectors looking for that one. It's the Injustice version of Flash. They have plenty of Green Lanterns uh, and Batman with the guitars. Looking at their NECA Funko section, it was bare and empty as you can see. They had an Elvis on tour. They had a Biff Tannen. Uh, and that's basically about it. Uh, they had the Greta Gremlin right there. Uh, see another Biff right there. Uh, not too much a dot. Alright guys, so not too much at this Target. They did have one of the brand new Snake Eyes figures. Um, I feel like I'm going to regret passing up on it when I start seeing people do toy photography with it. But I don't want to jump into another line. I, I was rearranging my room the, yesterday and uh, there's just very little space left. And I really want to save that space for what I absolutely love. Um, but man, I'm really considering running back in again that Snake Eyes figures. Let me know down in the comments down below if I messed up by skipping on that Snake Eyes figure. But I did find the new Hot Wheels Republic Commando ship. Um, and I, I've seen it around a few times and I passed up on it uh, But yesterday like I said I was moving stuff around I was cleaning my displays and I noticed that my small clone display that I have near my clone helmet is missing something and The thought popped into my head uh, a Republic gunship would fit perfectly right where I think it will uh, So I told myself next time I come across it in Target or Walmart I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up sure enough they had here so I went ahead and picked it up so with that being said, guys, we're going to hit up one other target, or maybe another. So with that being said, let's go ahead and head out to that other target, and uh, we'll see what they got. All right, guys, so here we are at the second target of the day, and we are still looking for all the die-cast Batman Batmobiles. Uh, so unfortunately, this one did not have any, but they did have this really cool Batman the Animated Series Batwing Hot Wheel. Uh, that I was really liking and that I had not seen in any other stores. I had been seeing the Batwing from uh, The Dark Knight Rises in a lot of stores, but I had not seen the animated series Batwing, so I went ahead and picked that up. This Star Wars section was pretty bare and empty. They did have a little Princess Leia uh, vintage collection action going on, some Grief Karga action going on as well there, both vintage and black series, but as you can see, they're peg warming. All right, guys, so this Target was definitely a bust, but it wasn't a complete bust in a way. Um, I did find something that I wasn't technically looking for, but since I came across it and I recently got into the die-cast Batmobiles, 
uh, and they don't have any of his like flying stuff. I did come across the Hot Wheels Batwing and so I went ahead and picked it up. They also have the Dark Knight one but they're 10 bucks a piece and um, I see the the bat wing everywhere or the bat as it says right here on the back um, everywhere but I've never seen this one right here uh, so I definitely wanted to pick this one up since I actually saw it in stores uh, and like I said I never see this one but I do see the one from the Dark Knight Rises all the time in every Target or almost every Target in Walmart so that being said guys we have one more Target to hit and maybe a Walmart if it's nearby uh, so that being said let's head out ready blue all right guys so here we are at the third target of the day as you can see this part is somewhat empty but they were stacked with dc multiverse but none that i wanted or needed they just had green lantern unmasked uh flashpoint batman a few todd mcfarlane batmans plenty of robin kings and a superman but not the black suited justice league superman or red unfortunately which is the one i'm currently hunting which is the red and blue suit superman which is a target exclusive uh and i have seen people pick it up so it is out there i just gotta find it uh so yeah not too much in the sense of dc multiverse for at least for me uh i'm sure there are a few people out there that are looking for those and you'll find it at targets um so that being said i went ahead and moved on marvel legends is starting to be clearance out a lot of things are actually starting to be clearance out guys so make sure you uh you know look out uh and i was able to find the tumbler uh at this target so that was a big success for me because that was one of the more expensive ones online so i'm super happy i was able to find that in stores and only pay retail for it uh unfortunately i am still missing the animated series and the batman forever batmobile and i was hoping to find one of those two back there but i did not so i went ahead and kept moving to the hot wheels section and as you can see the star wars section was bare and empty not a single figure to be found uh I was really looking at this Marvin the Martian uh, figure. It just looked really cool. Uh, Marvin and Bugs are always really cool. So looking at their NECA Funko section, they are stacked with a lot of cool stuff, but nothing that I need. Uh, they do have that new uh, Clint uh, figure from Jaws, which I absolutely love the accessories that comes with those those two beer cans right there um and if it ever went on clearance which i doubt it will because i'm sure another collector will come by and scoop it up uh you know i would buy it for those beer cans but i'm not going to pay full price just for those uh beer can accessories and i could probably find some on ebay for you know a lot less all right guys so this target was actually pretty decent um they didn't have too too much but they did have one thing that i've been looking for and it is the tumbler in all black i found the tumbler in the prototype version the other day on my hunt as i showed you in my video um they actually had it here at this one as well but i wanted the black one and i got the black one so we're super happy we may stop at walmart we i don't know what's there at walmart for me to find well let's just go check out walmart it's right across the street what about what do you think blue you think walmart has anything i think he just wants to go home you want to go to walmart or home huh more car ride or go home <laughs> that's the key word right car ride all right i guess a little more car ride guys let's go check out walmart all right guys so i decided to stop at one target while i was out and this one had all their uh neca funko stuff behind uh you know locked glass doors which was really odd to see but they did have a ultimate ghost face the one in the box and not the clamshell with all the cool accessories but i am not a horror collector um although they that may change uh stay tuned for the podcast to find out why uh later this week but if you are in the in the market for some halo stuff guys check out the clearance the ghost is clearing out for about 11 to 10 dollars at walmart's and the warthog is clearing out for about 20 dollars in targets so look out for those clearance guys you're not going to want to miss out those are some great prices for those two items i wouldn't pay over those prices those are exactly the prices i would pay all right guys so we did happen to score uh, this Walmart had the ghost from the Halo World figures um, on clearance. I happened to see that on Sleeping Collectibles last toy hunt and I had to go check it out for myself. And yes, uh, where he's at, they were $10 here. They were $11 California 
prices and whatnot but super happy that i waited and got it at a cheaper price uh especially at 10 bucks it was not worth 20 bucks in my opinion um i wish they still had the warthogs now because i definitely will pick one of those up if i see one around um so yeah guys all in all a great toy hunt like i said we picked up the halo uh ghost with the elite we got the animated series batwing republic gunship and last but certainly not least the whole reason i was hunting uh a die cast batmobile from uh the dark knight so super happy with the finds today uh did not find my blood my blue and red superman suit but we did come away with a lot of other great finds so i'm super happy uh what do you what about you blue you happy you got out of the house got went on a car ride that's not even the magic word anymore huh all right, so with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really do appreciate it. And until uh, next time, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.